Channel 13, KCOP, Los Angeles. To date, Ron Jones has beaten 14 opponents. He is about to play against his 15th opponent. If he beats this player, he will win his third new car, which will bring his winnings close to $87,000. In a moment, we'll find out how he makes out as... From Hollywood, it's everybody's game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's Tic Tac Toe. And now, here's our host, Wink Martindale. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, all right. Hey, welcome to our show. Somebody held up a banner. Where's the banner from up there? The National Institute of Technology, all right. Put it up there, let's see it. If we're going to see it, let's see it. All right. Now, the other groups in the audience are so saddened that they didn't bring a banner so that they could hold their banner up. But I'll hold the banner high for everybody else, all right, as the host. Here is our current big winner. Our current champion, whose winnings in cash and prizes total $80,400, is from San Francisco. He's a waiter whose interests include writing, tennis, and the movies, meet Ron Jones. And his opponent, he's a motion picture lab coordinator whose interests include bicycling and building models, meet Rob Hummel. Rob, whom I just met, says he'd love to have some of that action over there, some of that 80 foul plus. We'll talk to Ron in just a second. We have Ron and Rob, right? That's right. Rob Hummel. What do you do as a uh, motion picture lab coordinator? Well, I work with uh, film production companies, but my uh, specialty is really special effects in that area. What films have you worked on? Uh, well, a film called Blade Runner and a Disney film called Tron about life inside of a computer. I never heard either one of those. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I mean, very big hits, as a matter of fact, especially Tron. Big at the box office. They use computers in making special effects, don't they? Yeah, that's right, Wink. Just about any information you can give to the computer, it can instruct the camera and give you just about anything you want. Well, we can get just about anything we want out of our computers up here, <laughs> and if you're lucky, maybe you can, too. By the way, you have anybody in the audience? Uh, yeah, I have my wife here. Where is She's she? sitting right over there. What a pretty lady. What is her name? Uh, Ann. Hi, Ann. How are you? <laughs> welcome. <laughs> Wish them good luck. Rob, welcome. Rob Hummel. This is Ron Jones. I think everybody by now who is any uh, regular watcher of Tic Tac Doe, and I hope there are a lot out there, uh, are familiar with the fact that this gentleman is our current winner. As Charlie pointed out, he now has a total in cash and prizes of $80,400. If I had my hat on, I'd take it off to you, Ron. Our biggest winner in quite a while. You've won two automobiles, and I might point out that if you defeat Rob over here in this uh, match right now, you will have won your third car. What in the world would a person such as yourself do with three cars? Well, I got a lot of relatives, so I... Lots think... of relatives. Yes. Just pass them all out to the relatives. Would anybody like to be a relative of Ron for a couple of days? Hey, good luck to you both. Here we go. Ron Jones and Rob Hummel as we play this new match of Tic Tac Go. Okay, let's take a look at the board and see what subjects we can come up with, all right? We're going to be dealing with things like World War II comic strips, the stage faces, aquatic biology, women in songs, U.S. geography. The jump in category, pick that one, and I'll read the question to both of you. Whoever buzzes first gets the chance to answer the question. Who am I? Nine subjects. Ron, begin, please. I'll go to U.S. geology, please. U.S. United geography. States geography, all right? U.S. geography. And here's your question, Ron. During the days of westward expansion, over 200,000 pioneers used this natural gap in the Appalachian Mountains as a gateway to the West. The gap is bordered by the southern states of Virginia, Kentucky, and Tennessee. Name it. Cumberland Gap. Right, the Cumberland Gap. Man knows his geography. Mighty intelligent fella. That's why he has so much money. $200 in the pot as the X goes up there. We shuffle. Rob, please. Um, I'll go with the uh, faces category in the center. In the center box. All right, take a look at this picture, Rob. Here is a sports legend who had an army of followers. First, I want you to name him and then name his sport. I'll give you a few seconds to look at that. Who is that, Rob? That's uh, Palmer. Yes, Arnold Palmer. What's his sport? Uh, golf. Right. I think nine out of ten people would come up with that answer directly. Faces, Arnold Palmer. 
But it's all there. 500 in the pot. We shuffle. Ron, back to you again. Where's that next X going to go? I'll go to World War II. Lincoln. World War II. All right. Ron, in 1943, after the Italian army had met with numerous defeats, this Italian dictator, known as Il Duce, was overthrown and imprisoned. He later headed a puppet government in northern Italy. Name him. Mussolini. Right. Benito Mussolini. Another X on the board, World War II. We shuffle. Back to Rob Hummel. Uh, wink off, go with comic strips to block. To block run, Rob, Little Orphan Annie owns a dog named Sandy. Blondie and Dagwood own a dog named Daisy. I want you to name the little comic strip boy who owns a dog named Ruff, and you'll have a block. Oh, boy. Uh, Dennis the Menace. You got it. You have the block. Dennis Mitchell. Dennis the Menace. We'll continue with a match between Ron and Rob in just a moment. As you may already know, our very next show will feature eight very classy guys. They'll compete against each other in a special tournament, each one playing for his favorite charity. All here on Tic Tac Toast. Be sure to watch this very special tournament. That's on our very next show, the tournament of eight classy guys playing for $10,000 for his favorite charity. Okay, it's back to the match now between Ron and Rob. $900 in the pot to this point. Five boxes on the board. Let's shuffle and Ron, turn it back to you. I'll go to U.S. Geography to block one. For a vertical block, Ron, to block Rob, a place called Four Corners is the only point in the United States where four states meet. Utah and New Mexico are two of these states. For a block, name either of the others. Uh, would you repeat that, please, Wayne? A place called Four Corners is the only point in the United States where four states meet. Utah and New Mexico are two of the states. Name either of the others. Arizona. Right. Colorado and Arizona. The other two states. You got one of the two left. That's good for a block. We move them around. Turn back to Rob. Uh, Wink, I'll go for U.S. geography. Okay, and here's your question, Rob. The lowest point in the Western Hemisphere is near an area called Badwater in this California desert valley. Name it. Death Valley. Right. Death Valley, California. U.S. geography. Get to know. Three boxes left. Let's shuffle them around. Playing for $1,300, Ron. Okay, I'll go to U.S. Geography to block it. For a horizontal block of Rob, the three covered peaks of this beautiful green mountain areas make this New England state one of our most scenic. In fact, its name comes from the French for Green Mountain. For a block, name it. Vermont. Vermont is the state. Yes, you have the block. So we put an X there, and we're down to two boxes, and we shuffle those categories around, and Rob, it is your turn. Either Who Am I or Comic Strips. Uh, Wink, I'll go with Who... Comic Strips, excuse me. <laughs> I don't know. I got better go to the judge for a ruling on that. Judge, what is your ruling? Wink, as the contestants are advised before the show, when selecting categories, we must accept the first discernible category choice, no matter how quickly they may try to change it. In this case, Rob was clearly selecting the category Who Am I, and so we must go with that selection. Okay, Rob, it'll have to be Who Am I, top left corner of the board. Hi, I'm a famous doctor and I've got a problem. You see, after a long day in the laboratory, I like to mix myself a drink. Problem is, I take a couple of sips and I turn into a real monster. In fact, it's gotten so bad I can't hide it anymore. Who am I? Uh, Dr. Jekyll. Right, Dr. Dr. Jekyll from Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. So we put it over there, and we have one box left. Was that an Academy losing performance? I think so. There's no question about it. Let's see what subject comes up. We see faces. So, Ron, that will be your category. And if you answer the question correctly, you will win your 15th game of Tic-Tac-Toe, $1,900 on this game. You will also win your third car for a correct answer. And all of this would give you a grand total of $88 thousand one hundred dollars take a look at this picture this man's face is all over the place for tic-tac-toe your third car and a total of eighty eight thousand one hundred dollars name him colonel sanders you got it Sanders means for Ron a third car and some more cash and a grand total of $88,100. Congratulations to you, Ron. Here are the details on your new car. Charlie, 
Run for your driving pleasure from Shanlaw Chevrolet. It's the brand new Chevy Chevette two-door coupe. Compliments of Tic Tac Toe. So, Dan, Ron, congratulations to you. And I feel badly for you, Rob, because, uh, you know, we have this ironclad set of rules and we must follow them. And a rule that works for you in your favor can go against you as it did then, but it can also go against Ron in a similar situation. So I know you understand. And, of course, the rules are explained to all of our contestants before the show starts. But, Rob, we do have a couple of very nice consolation prizes for you. And our thanks for being with us on Tic Tac Doe. Rob Hummel. Okay, Ron, come on over. Break. I always hate to have those things happen, but they've happened many times in the past, and I'm sure they'll happen in the future. Three cars now, one for you, one for your wife. Now you're going to start passing them around to all the relatives. Now that's tacky, isn't it? That's great. Hey, behind these numbers are various amounts of money. We have a tick, we have a tack, and of course the dragon. Reach $1,000 or more or combine the tick and the tack, and here's what you're going to win, Ron. Ron, there are 24 hours in a day, and the prizes in this package will help you keep track of them. First, Ron, keep up with the march of time with this stylish wrist the tack, You automatically get the dough. Okay, Ron, we're going to cover them up and move them around. Now, nine numbers mean time for you to start selecting. He's one of those uh, people who has nobody in the audience to give him a little advice. So uh, this being a brilliant audience, why don't you all let him know where to move on this board up here, all right? Give us some numbers. I'd like to go to the lady who wants number one. Number one. Lady right there called out number one. And right at the top of the board, we find a top flight number, $100 worth. 900 more, and you win the watch. You need $250 a ticket. Okay, I'm going to go with this lady here. What do you want? Number two. Number, Number two. Number two, all righty. $250 are ticket. You got the trip to Switzerland. You got it. <laughs> yeah, Rob's wife, yeah, the fellow that you just beat, she's the lady on the end there. Very lovely lady, too. Is she the one who gave you that number? She sure is. Very nice. Rob's a lucky guy in that respect. <laughs> He speaks very nicely of Rob now that he's beat him in this game. Let's look at the rest of the board. Three, four, six, and eight. The dragon was behind number six. You now have a total, including the trip to Switzerland, your third car, all of the other prizes you've won.